Hi everyone, welcome back to my build videos. This one is going to be of Paper Theater by NSKY and this is PT-153 Chiko-chan and the Japanese title is actually Chiko-chan ni Shikarareru and um, it is actually of an NHK TV show and I originally thought that this was an animation uh, kind of like for kids or something but, and I was actually totally wrong when I started looking into um, what this show was about. So Chiko-chan ni Shikarareru it actually translates to Chiko-chan will scold you but the English title for the show is called Don't Sleep Through Life and um, they have adult consult uh, contestants come out to the show and they answer uh, questions and if you get it wrong Chiko-chan, uh, their mascot, which is a little girl is she will actually scold you if you get the answers wrong and what she will actually yell is Don't Sleep Through Your Life and I guess the whole point is that it's actually really embarrassing to have a little kid scold, that, uh, scold you but the interesting thing is it's not actually played by a little girl but it's actually a person inside of a costume of Chiko-chan uh, that looks kind of like what you see in the final model here um, but interestingly enough um, I thought it was actually really interesting of how they go about with the show is that they have a person with the suit and the, the, the helmet on or the, sorry the face, uh, the head on and they actually overlay the head uh, with CG so you, she actually has like animated expressions um, that they will actually do in post-production and I just thought it was actually really interesting how they put that effort into a game show um, and you know I think it's kind of where a lot of TV is kind of going where you have this half CG and just the fact that we've gotten to this point in technology where we can do this for uh, just a regular TV show. So I guess it's a cultural thing because in Japan, you know, even if you kind of don't approve of something or you know you kind of disagree, a lot of times, you know, you're in Japan, it's kind of looked down upon if you kind of express yourself too much verbally or you know you verbally disagree with people. And so um, it's kind of refreshing because I guess they're kind of have, they're liking Chiko-chan being able to scold people and you know by proxy so it's kind of like a refreshing like experience for them just because they're so um, worried about how they look in public or inside society for being able to speak up their minds and so you know this character is able to just say whatever she wants and you know people actually enjoy doing that or watching her do that. So I was actually looking up more information about Chiko-chan and I found out that she actually was appointed by the Japan Sports Agency Commissioner uh, to become an ambassador uh, to urge women to exercise uh, just because um, with the lower level of sports participation than men, um, it's, she's kind of now a mascot for urging you know women in Japan to exercise more. Another interesting thing about Chiko-chan is that I, when I was actually trying to do my research before I did this build because um, I actually just bought this model set just because I kind of like the design of the character and I thought it was kind of interesting and it looked like you know it was going to be very very interesting uh, show um, but it's actually really hard to find clips online. I went through YouTube and I only found one kind of trailer for the show. Um, it was actually selling the DVD set, I believe. And all the other uh, clips related to Chiko-chan was based off of merchandise review by other users or um, videos of Chiko-chan actually um, attending other events or other shows, but not actual clips of the TV show, which I thought was kind of just odd. Um, but you know, maybe you guys can have a better chance at you know searching for video clips. But I was not actually able to find a single video clip. In terms of this paper theater build uh, by N Sky. Um, it's actually not that complicated. There aren't that many layers. The only uh, complicated part, or not complicated, but the most complex part of this build would be Chiko-chan with the amount of layers that go uh, to build her. But even then, it's actually not a lot compared to some of the other paper theater models. So um, this is actually rated more towards the easier side. That I think this is a great uh, model for you to start out with if you've never done a paper theater model just because um, you know the design is fun it's kind of you know she has this mischievous face but the model is not complicated so I think it'll be a really great collection if you like building these paper models.
and seeing Chico Chan、um, and seeing how she's actually from the NHK、uh, TV show,、um, you know, it's interesting because one of the first mascots that I really started getting into and really liked was Domo Kun, which was the actual、uh, mascot of NHK for a while. And, you know,、um, it's interesting, like, I just love the character designs that they include for TV stations in Japan. You know, this anime culture and character design culture is part of society there. And, you know, it's well integrated with the TV shows. While, you know, in America, we may have a logo for each, like,、uh, broadcast、uh, stations, but, you know, they don't really deal with a lot of mascots, you know, here in the US. Or, kind of like these figures. And I, I just think, you know, there's more freedom in Japan with this kind of expression. And it would be kind of nice to see America kind of、uh, adopt kind of this、uh, kind of attitude, I guess, about TV shows. You know, it, it's, it just seems so kind of dry nowadays in America with these TV stations,、um, you know, and they're trying to just kind of have these logos. Um, and branding to kind of have this slick kind of attitude. But in reality, you know, I, I kind of like how in Japan these TV stations can, especially with the mascots, it kind of reaches out to a broader audience. While it, it seems like with these TV stations nowadays, it's kind of just meant for adults, or you have a separate TV、uh, station for children only、uh, on the cable、uh, shows. And it's kind of nice to be able to have, you know, an NHK or something like that、um, have a mascot that can be liked by all ages and all audiences. And, you know, it kind of just brings a little more fun、um, to. Their branding and their image. The background objects、um, in this、uh, build actually is a, replication, a replica of the、uh, background for the TV show. There's all these、uh, objects you know, that are in the background. And so they do have the totem pole, they do have the Dharma doll, and then this owl. Um, and I think the most interesting one, because when I was actually building this, I wasn't really sure what I was building, but、um, as you saw in the previous layer, there was a swordfish or some kind of you know, gray object,、um, and it looked like it had a Guy Fox mask with、uh, sunglasses, the red sunglasses on. And when I kind of looked through photos of their、uh, actual TV show design set, and it, it does actually look like it's a swordfish model with a Guy Fox mask. Max with、uh, red sunglasses on. So it, it just seems so random. And I, I feel like there were choices made for some of these objects to be on display. And I kind of want to know the background story behind why they chose certain objects to be in the show. And you know, I think it's just a really fun build overall because you know, it's very playful, it's very unique.、Um, and I, I actually really enjoyed building this one. And I kind of hope that they make more of this Chico Chan series just because I, you know, it's very, it's, it was funny for me to build. So, we're gonna be wrapping up this build by、uh, assembling the pieces together, and it's done by these tabs that you're gonna be inserting to the corners and then to the sides of each layer so that it kind of becomes a framed set. It's almost like a light box、uh, set. And so, what's interesting is, with these models is that you can actually put it inside of a display case that lights up. Where the background will have a LED light so that you can kind of have the light shine through the model, and it, it has a really great design. And they do have a specific display case just for the paper theater models、uh, for this design. So, most of the、uh, paper theater designs will have some kind of element so that the light will shine through from the back, and it will look really great when it actually、uh, lights up. And now that we're wrapping this up, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed watching、uh, me build this Chico Chan、uh, 
set by NSKY and this is the Paper Theater series PT-153 and um, I hope you enjoy kind of like what I found through my research of what this character is and what the show was about and um, we're about to show you the final model and here it is this is the PT-153 Chico-chan series and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you do please hit that subscribe button or you know watch other videos that are on my YouTube channel uh, Maru Makes and you're gonna have the links come up here so be sure to check it out and uh, thank you for watching